in today's video we shall be expressing swords in a single form for instance root a so how do we change these swords into a single form now the first thing we do here is to take the square of the swords and we evaluate so i take the square of everything here so we have three roots two all squared and in maths this square affects everything in the bracket so i can expand this to become three squared times root two squared now three squared is nine root two squared is if you recall in my previous video when you are finding the square of a sword it gives us the number in the sword so root 2 squared gives us 2 9 times 2 gives us 18 all right now the second step is to take the square roots of this therefore my final answer is square root 18 so this is our final answer so as you can see i have changed these swords into a single sword in the form of root a good now let's look at the next question if you don't mind you can try it we are still using the same steps 10 root 5 the first step we do is to take the square of everything here becomes 10 root 5 all squared now as you all know in math the square affects everything in the brackets so we now have 10 squared times root 5 squared all right 10 squared is 100 and root 5 squared is 5 100 times 5 gives us 500 the last step is to take the square root of step 1 and that becomes square root 500 this is our final answer as you can see i just converted 10 root 5 to a single sword so when you are asked to express swords in the form of root a it means that you are asked to express that sword in a single form so this is how we express swords in a single form Big.